So I have been breaking out lately on the side of my face. I have two of these pretty large prominent white heads which have stayed around for three, four days with you know big white heads on the side of them. I've also got a, a little bit of a smaller pimple here and then if you can kind of see it back here, uh, a little another pimple or two just from like shaving irritation and stuff. But I've been breaking out lately and I wanted to make this video specifically to talk to you guys about clearing your acne and also the mindset you should have before and after you clear your acne and what can really happen. So before we get anywhere into the mindset, let's just talk about the actual facts here. I used to have really, really bad acne, super, super bad acne all over my face, cysts, boils, pimples, blackheads, everything. And then I was able to clear it up after taking Accutane, having it return again, then changing my diet up, taking dairy out, adding vegetables in, drinking way more water, going vegan, all this. And then I've gotten to a point where I'm clear, 100% clear as everybody likes to put it, right? And then people expect you to be 100% clear forever. But what I wanted to make this video for is to show you that you aren't always going to be 100% clear, even after you've gotten past acne. See, the thing I think most of us who are suffering with acne or who have suffered with acne in the past, I think what we do is we think, man, I can't wait to get to the day where I don't have acne ever again. No more, I'm 100% clear and I think that logic is flawed. I wanted to make this video to show you that someone like me who has gotten past acne and has 100% clear skin still breaks out. You know what I mean? This week I've eaten a, a big pizza, I had some breadsticks, uh, I had my face on the, 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 what do you call it, the mat at the gym a few times while doing my rehab exercises. I figured, hey, it probably won't bother me, but we'll find out. Uh, I've been bad with changing my pillowcases. Uh, I've let my face dry with sweat while talking to somebody at the gym after my workout instead of running straight to the sink and washing my face. So I've done some things, I've violated the acne code. And so yeah, I have a couple of pimples that popped up. That is not a terrible thing. It doesn't mean that I'm a bad person or that I've done something wrong. It just means that I have a couple of pimples, you know? Something either that I did or just natural random occurrence has happened and a couple of pimples has popped up. I think so many of us put so much uh, importance on actually being 100% clear, having not even the tiniest pinprick of red come up on your face or anything like that. And it doesn't really matter if you do have a couple of pinpricks on your face, if you do have a couple of big pimples, if you have a bunch of cysts on your face, it actually doesn't matter. So I think the problem is that before we clear up, a lot of us acne sufferers think, I will not be happy until I'm 100% clear. And whatever it is that's behind that, right? Whatever, if it's self-esteem issues that are behind that, we take all of those self-esteem issues that we have in our whole entire life, and then because humans like to do this, we like to have a blame game. We have to justify why we have you know, self-esteem problems or whatever issue it is. We like to say, it's because of my acne. If I didn't have acne, I'd be 100% confident. I would go right up to that girl and ask her out. I'd go and get the job that I wanna get. I'd go talk to anybody the way I wanna, I wanna talk to them. I wouldn't be scared of anything, but I've got acne, so that's the reason why. So when we do that, I think that we set ourselves up for failure, right? Because A, what if you don't clear yourself up? Or what if you don't clear yourself all the way? You're not 100% baby skin smooth clear, right? You, you're gonna, because you set that set up in your head, you're gonna think, man, I can't go do those things that I was hoping I was gonna do when I was 100% clear because I'm not 100, I'm 85% clear, you know what I mean? Or on the other end, when you do get yourself 100% clear and you're getting used to this really, really smooth skin and you're not having a lot of acne and stuff, when it does come back, when you have a couple of pimples pop up here and there, which you're not gonna be free of, you are gonna have a couple of pimples here and there, everybody has them, it's gonna be okay. Then we go into freak out anxiety mode and we say, I am either going to relapse or uh, my self-esteem and everything is crushed again because I have a couple of pimples on my face. I think this is a really self-destructive kind of uh, a mindset because, right, like you're punishing yourself for something that you, it's not really your fault, right? Like maybe you eat something that's a little processed or, or whatever it is, you violate one of those acne code things and you get a couple pimples and stuff, but it's not, you shouldn't, you shouldn't hate yourself, right? I think that what a lot of us miss while we are actually working on clearing our acne, figuring out like what foods to take out or what things to try or whatever techniques it is or medicines or whatever, the thing that we also forget to do on the other side of it is to, to work on ourselves have some self-esteem, self-development time to appreciate who we are, 
you know, see the strength in who you are, realize that the the shallow, superficial things don't define who you are under your skin. Like, why do you not matter because you have acne on your skin? The things that you do and the value that you bring to the table is still there. Even if you haven't even recognized your value, everybody does have value. That I can assure you of. You are not a lost cause by any mean. The thing is that so many of us with acne not only one, have low self-esteem, but two, attribute all of our self-esteem to that acne and think that we can't do anything else. So what I'm telling you is that you need to work on yourself as well as your acne. You need to find what makes you love you because I'm telling you, it's not your skin. It's not your texture of your skin. Never once have I said, man, I love myself. I'm valuable because of my skin legitimately never because that's not a skill or a value or a passion there's literally nothing with my skin has to do with the things that i'm into what's inside of your head right your skin has nothing to do with what's inside of your head what you need to do i think especially when it comes to this whole idea of being scared to break out again or, or relapsing or even if you haven't even cleared up your acne any of that stuff i think we need to stop putting so 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 much of our value into our skin type and if it is clear or not of course pay attention to it you know take care of it it's not you can take it out of your life ever i of all people know that it's it's right there in the in the forefront everybody uh is around you it seems like they're talking about it everybody wants to tell you what to do to clear it and stuff so i'm not telling you don't think about about it at all of course think about it try to get it better all that kind of stuff but what I'm telling you is that you need to find the value in yourself that is past your skin because when you start building a value in yourself whether that's from finding your passion or uh, more of a mindful approach of realizing that you of all people and all other people have value you can do things and that has nothing to do with your pedigree or where you're from or anything when you start to realize that you have value then things like having acne on your face or what clothes you have or can afford or any sort of other thing like that, any sort of materialistic thing or superficial thing, it doesn't matter, right? Because you realize that you as a person with no material things, no clothes, no house, no situation, no nothing, none of that stuff defines how valuable you are. You're valuable with none of that stuff. I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but I have so many people who hit me up on Snapchat or through DMs or whatever, and they'll say, hey, I've cleared my skin up super, super well and stuff, and for like five years I've been clear, and then I'm now 36 and my acne's starting to come back, and it's tearing me apart. It's it's making me not want to go out anywhere. Uh, I got all this self-confidence. This is the one I get a lot, is on Snapchat people will say, I got a huge boost of self-confidence. I was killing it. I got rid of my acne. I was clear and I felt like an amazing ah, I felt so good and then they'll say and it's come back in the last three or four weeks and I'm getting all those terrible feelings back I'm getting that depression feeling back I'm getting this devaluation of myself uh, because of this acne and I can't go out into public I can't do the things that I've been wanting to do and that's why I'm trying to convey this message to you is because if you are someone who hasn't cleared your acne up or if you're someone who is already done with clearing your acne up I want you to realize that Acne can always be there. It can go away, it can come back, it can stay with you forever. Not forever, but it can stay with you for a long time. And none of that should affect how you value yourself. Maybe it can irritate you, maybe it can make your life harder, but it shouldn't make you think that you are less worth a person, you're less valuable. I hope you're kind of getting what I'm saying here. Uh, I've had so many people message me or talk to me in person later after the fact and say, hey man, I never even noticed that you had acne or I kind of real like I knew you had acne, but it never really crossed my mind to something I was thinking about. People from high school, people from college, people from my first and second job, people letting me know that while I was covered in cysts and blackheads and whiteheads and stuff, that they never even thought twice of it because I was talking to them like a real person, looking them in the eyeballs and really like caring about what they're thinking and then having them return the favor and we're having real conversations and stuff like that. And none of that had to do with my skin. Ultimately, I just wanted to make this video because I have a couple of active like whiteheads, redheads, whatever you want to call these on my face uh, and 
I don't always make videos like this because usually they're pretty small, but I thought these would be a good opportunity to do this. But I've had a lot of, uh, you know, little whiteheads pop up in the last six months, you know? It's not a big deal. I, I literally don't really think anything about it except for the fact that I have, you know, people like you guys who are watching my acne content and stuff. That's the only reason why I'm even aware of it. That's the only reason why I even think, oh, I have some whiteheads right here. Otherwise, I'd just be like, oh, Okay, I just gotta make sure not to itch those. It just pains me to see people not living life when they could be living life, when they could be loving life, and they could be happy with their life simply because they haven't worked on this part of their self-development. And you can, you absolutely can. Work slowly to find things that you value in yourself. Work slowly to find things that you're passionate about, that you enjoy intrinsically in here and focus on those things more than you focus on things like this. I'm still not really sure if I if I got my message across clearly. Uh, sometimes when I try to do these videos, I'm not sure if I'm speaking articulately and, and, and getting my message conveyed the way I want to, but I hope that you guys got this. If you did, uh, I would appreciate if you kind of clear up other people if they're kind of confused in the, in the comments and stuff. Um, but if you, if you get this idea, let me know what you think. I want to hear your ideas on this and, and how you personally have been able to improve your mentality regardless of what's going on with your act or if you've experienced a relapse, how you've kept your mentality strong while seeing your acne come back. That is it, my sexy friends. I am sweating up in here. It is really hot in this room. I love you all. You're amazing people. I appreciate the hell out of you supporting me. Please support yourself. Show love to yourself. Find that part of you that you value and love the shit out of yourself because I do. I, I genuinely do, and I hope I can meet a lot of you guys somewhere in life at a meetup or something like that soon. That's it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Team Beyond the Week. CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week. CT. Lift heavy.